Wall Street Journal this morning. The headline on Bank of America we've been telling you about. Bank of America, which, uh, you know, for all the controversy with the Merrill Lynch deal, has been making great profits out of its Wall Street business. Bank of America is now going to repay its bailout money. At the bottom of the front page of the Wall Street Journal, uh, it says, Man Cleavage is Back. Your shirt open, plunging neckline, slid open to reveal chest hair, pectoral muscles, and maybe more. But, uh, I mean, the question on this story is, is, is will mainstream America embrace the, the look of, of men's shirts being open down to the third or fourth button? God. Other stories in the Wall Street Journal this morning, the special section. The question is, what to do with your money in 2010? On to the Daily News. I, I, I've been as interested as the next person in the Tiger Woods story, but I have to say that I'm close to my burnout stage. Uh, the headline in the Daily News today is, Will Mrs. Woods Stay? There is an interesting perspective from Joanna Malloy in her column in the Daily News this morning. Basically, she says, Tiger's mistake appears to have been cheating on one mistress with another. Uh, apparently, Mistress A would have been happy to have a trip to Melbourne, Australia. Uh, notable as well that the, the Daily News Online and others are, are wondering whether uh, Rachel Uchatel, uh, who uh, was, was uh, first involved in this storm of publicity, will in fact change her denials with the statement she is scheduled to issue today. Photo of John Jr. Gotti on page 3, shopping at Toys R Us. It is uh, likely that there will not be a fifth trial for Junior Gotti. Coverage in all the papers this morning on the Grammy Awards nominations. Beyonce and Taylor Swift, as we've been telling you, are the front runners. Uh, I, I misread the headline at first. It, it says Beyonce's big bounty. And there's a, a nice gift guide to finish up in the Daily News. 30 items you can buy online and have sent directly to the recipient, which I, I mean, I guess that's every, you can buy everything online now. But the, the point is that you don't even have to leave your desk to do all of this holiday shopping. That is a look at some of what's in the papers huh, on this Thursday morning.